Anza from Mexico, and now Waddle. Lineker, very quick indeed. The Germans arrived here knowing nothing about Gary Lineker, and been told that he's quick and were worried about his pace. Here's Hobble. A quick word about Glenn Hoddle, uh, Mike, because we keep saying this must be the last chance for Hoddle, who really never quite has performed for England as well as he does for Tottenham. Let's just see this throw first. There's Gary Stevens. Oh, it goes a short one to Glenn Hoddle. Trying a long shot. That almost caught out Schumacher. Dixon, but all running to the number six, Argentyler. Bremer, the fullback. Just watch his shot, there it goes, it's a good one, and Shilton was struggling to keep it out. All three goalkeepers have told us here how the ball moves wickedly in the air. And I warned you about Bremer's shooting qualities, and we saw it there. Bremer, Litvarski, and Reed quickly closing in on him, but he's slipped Peter Reed. This is Litvarski, and again Shilton called to make the save from the Pierre Litvarski. Well, the Germans in the opening quarter of an hour have shown us more long-range shooting than anybody has. Uh, and Argentiler, uh, either of them can do it, but our problem tends to be when they break into the middle of the park is picking them up. We don't seem to be able to get a man to pick them up at the moment. Butcher, the long ball, the sort of ball that Dixon likes if he can get to that byline. He crosses it in! And Lineker was almost in there, and Schumacher was stretched to the limit, and England get a corner. Good run there by Dixon. Really just the sort of ball he likes, and he thinks that Hoddle is the sort of man who can play it for him. Did well there, Kerry Dixon. in possession now. Little chip by Lidvarski. Mill hoping to get in there. Important that Wright wins it for England. And he wasn't quite sure. Lineker trying to force an error. Does so. And the shot saved by Schumacher. England at least getting one or two shots in today. In goes Gary Stevens. Well taken by Waddle. Here in England again. Hoddle's gone away on the right. Waddle seeking to find him and does so. Crossed in again for Waddle. The flag stays down and Lineker's in there. And England close to getting on the score sheet again, but still nil-nil. 26 minutes gone. Just over the picture. Hoddle crossing it in and hits it straight at Berthold. And now a break on for the West Germans. Matthias. Oh, when he's gone past Gary Stevens. Litvarski in a bit of space on the far side. Mateos is still there. Still with Litvarski. And the shot is saved by Shilton. And England really caught out there as the Germans made a move from one end of the field to the other. And for the third time in the game, Shilton has had a powerful shot to save. Bremer, the fullback. Ergert, the sweeper. Litvarski, the man with the shot. And just wide of the goal. They're certainly piling in their shots. There's no doubt about it. This is what we've got to be very careful of. On the break here, Hoddle lost, lost it from a corner, actually. And, and Lipbowski here again gets half a chance to shoot. And I tell you, he's had a great shot and it's flew by the post again. They shoot on sight, these Germans. Yeah, Lipbowski plays for Cologne. Dixon, Waddle, Reed. That's a good ball by Reed, and what a great run by Sanson. Lineker's gone towards the near post, and Robson is there. And it's that damaged shoulder, and he said, although he felt he wasn't quite at his best for the cup final in the game in Finland, he feels really sharp now. Here's Hoddle, little chip in, and Robson was getting in there again, and knocked down, and a goal by Robson. Great piece of work by Kerry Dixon and Brian Robson has put England into the lead. Have the corner, and so there's a bit of defending for England to do. 
Magath going towards it. Farima, the fullback, being forced away by Sanson. A little touch by Jacobs. Some nice one touched up here by the Germans. Coming eventually to Herget. Brian Robson. Fairtold. Litvarski getting it through. Will Ron get there? Penalty given! The second penalty that England have conceded in this tournament. And Ron goes down. And with four minutes to go to half time. Mark right it was. As the ball comes through here, Mike Shannon. I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brian. It was definitely penalty. a penalty. And can't argue with that. The one that was conceded against Italy was disgraceful from a refereeing point of view. This was legitimate. And the Germans now presented with an opportunity of bringing it back to 1-1 as they haul Uwe Lahn run off the field. It's a, sh it's a shame, Brian, because he was running away from goal, actually, and I don't think he had any, any need to have a dive in at that time. But the only problems, apart from that, that the Germans have caused has been from long-range shots. Well, it's a full-back, Bremer, who's going to take it. Can Shilton hold out? Can England keep their lead? Will it be 1-1? Right on half-time. Bremer with the penalty. And Shilton has saved it! Magnificent by Peter Shilton! And England stay 1-0 in the lead. And he it. judged it right and got it to perfection, Peter Shilton. Litvarski with the corner for West Germans. That's the fourth successive penalty the West Germans have missed. And it enables England now to keep the lead. And after Peter Shilton, the goal that he conceded against the Italians was a little dodgy. But there was no doubt about that one. It wasn't the best of penalties, but it was still... Brian, Brian, sorry, Brian, I'm not sure, but at half-time against Mexico, I believe some of the England players had oxygen. And I'm just wondering whether they're, whether they're just trying this out for next year, because in America, American football, they have it all the time. And I think at this altitude, it's probably a good thing. Yes, I think half a dozen of them had oxygen. And I noticed just as we were going into the break at the end of the first half, I saw the doctor going along with the oxygen cylinder, which uh, he keeps in the dugout with him and takes there. And now Waddle. Turning him one way, turning him the other. Now back for Hoddle. Towards Dixon on the far side. And a foul. And news coming in, in point of fact, that Iceland are beating Spain by a goal to nil in a World Cup group that involves Scotland and Wales. A match, of course, that's of vital importance to Wales and Scotland. And that, so far, would be a very good result for them. Waddle, then, what about his run just now? Well, England are looking very good on the break, and Chris, Chris Waddle got away on the left there, and he's knocked a great cross in. Unfortunately, it was just, it was just in front of um, Gary Lineker, and he couldn't get to it. But the Germans are beginning to look very tired, and the England lads in their first game said uh, when they come out at half-time, although they've done well in the first half, it was very hard to get started again, and it looks the same for the Germans here. Well, it's Klaus Augenthaler on the ball for them at the moment. They've got to push themselves through a pain barrier. And suddenly England are on the break again. And Butcher is on his way. And Kerry Dixon has got it in. And England are two in the lead. His That's a good ball by Sanson for Robson. Played in again towards Dixon, but he was well marked that time by Jacobs. Now Mateus. Scott Mill making a break. And suddenly the Germans are in with a chance. Oh, against the post. They were unlucky there. A tremendous break by Frank Neal. And England fortunate to escape. Well, Argentina behind it. Shilton in his place. England leading 2-0. The big Bayern Munich defender. Taking an age to get this kick taken. Now Argenthaler with it. Through the wall and saved by Shilton. He's in really good form. Make a substitution. And, and, and with John Barnes coming on up front, there's a little bit of adjustment had to go on. 
Well, here's Bonds in possession. Getting some support from Reed and a lovely little ball played by Peter Reed. Urging Barnes to get down that touchline. Find the cross into it. Key Dixon! Oh, a beautiful goal! A genuine Dixon goal. Here come the West Germans again, though, with Hergert the substitute. Here's Hobble. Played on for Waddle. Touched on by Waddle beautifully. Dixon's in the middle waiting. Barnes is coming up fast. It could be John Barnes. Oh, and he couldn't get past Schumacher. And we were within an ace of getting the fourth. Oh, look at Bobby Robson. He wanted that fourth goal. Good piece of play by Stevens. Hoddle again. The G Germans are in disarray. And, uh, well, it's good to be beating them 3-0. But you have a certain sympathy with them. It, it does take more than just a couple of days to get acclimatized to the very, very special and cruel conditions you get here in Mexico. Two faces back at home watching this. It's Uwe Rahn at the moment. As the Germans try to look for something. And no problems there for Peter Shilton. And not such good news from Iceland for Scotland and Wales. Spain have now gone 2-1 into the lead. As Sanson plays it forward. And Robson's on the break. He's onside. Can it be the fourth? Schumacher's there again. And England get a corner. Nice picture. Look at that. Hergert for West Germany. Free kick. Oh, and it's taken well. It's thus on the far side with Meal waiting in the middle. And run! Just fast. The trip to Mexico looks as though it's going to end on the best possible note as the referee looks at the watch again. Two goals only in the five previous games, but three in this one against the West Germans. Thus, the final whistle, no, is an offside flag. But the final whistle now can only be a matter of seconds away. And there it is. England have won by three goals to nil, two by Kerry Dixon, one by Brian Robson, a magnificent penalty save by Peter Shilton in the first half, and an overall England performance that Bobby Robson and those of you at home can be proud of.